video I'm going to show you how to do a tilt shift effect. Um, if you look at the image right there, you can see it makes it look almost like a miniature um, model, right? Um, now, what tilt shift is, it it is an actual lens that, that photographers use to, to take images like this. Um, and it does blur the top, the bottom, it depends like wh where you put it. Um, but in this case, to make it look like like a miniature model, that this effect on, on Pixlr is just going to create the the top, the bottom, or different parts of it as blurred. It's going to sharpen the edges of your images, and it's also going to give you brighter colors. All right, so this is the, the image that I started with right here, and you can see the, the difference. Very dull colors, focused on all sides, um, a little bit blurry compared to this one when it comes to the details of the middle. All right. If you remember a few weeks ago when we were doing macro photos, you could see a similar thing. This was not done on Pixlr. This was just done using the, the phone camera with that lens I created. But you could see where, where the blurred parts are and the very hyper details in other sections are. All right, so let's get started. So first I open up my image and then I need to duplicate it. So in Pixlr, if I select this image right here and I click on the three dots, I can click right over here to duplicate my layer. Now this top layer, I actually want to blur it. So I'm going to go to filter, details, and then blur. I'm going to put it, let me see, it's somewhere around the 50s, right? 55 for me right there. Seems okay. I'm going to hit apply. And now I want to take out a section of this. So for me, I click on the marquee tool. I click right here. And then I could just delete. Now, if I wanted to switch where that was, I could always go back and with the marquee tool, select a different section. Actually, I'm going to make it bigger and more towards the bottom, especially where the cars are. Let's see, right here, delete. Now, you can see that it is not a smooth transition right there. So if I click on the little scissors right here and the brush, I could take away from there, or I could add, right? But I'm gonna take away, I'm gonna click right here, spread this part around. And then click right here, spread this part around. What that's doing is smoothing out that section where it's where it's blurred out. Maybe I'll pull it up a little bit. Yeah, that looks more realistic right there. Um, the next thing I want to do, I want to select my background layer, which is the one that's actually sharp, and I want to make it even sharper. So if I go up to adjustment and I go to actually filter, again, details, sharpen, I want to bring this up. Now you can see it makes it look from, from this before to this right now. It seems like things are a lot sharper at that point. 100 seems good. And then the last thing I want to do is to go to adjustment, hue and saturation. And I want to bring the saturation up a lot. Because again, if it is a miniature, people will be painting this. And usually you get straight out of the jar um, colors. So. In my case, I just brought it up to 100. This one I'll probably leave at zero. And then hit apply. And now you can see the, the difference. It looks more like, like a miniature than it did before. And this works in a lot of different pictures. Just remember, take a picture that is from the top, usually of cities or things that, that would make it look like you're being a giant and just taking a photo of something that's very small. All right, hope that helps.